Jesus, Lord, you have come to us in the form of bread. You have called us to be your own, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people set apart. That's what we are. As a priestly people, we have gathered before you. In different parts of the world. But then, space does not separate us. Love has united us to you and to each other. Your love now flowing from your heart and filling us. Lord, for your gracious, magnificent, loving presence. Awesome presence with us in the Holy Eucharist. Your great mercy, you are showering upon us now. Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise, Praise you, Jesus. We bless Lord you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we, bless we acknowledge you. your presence. We glorify you, God. We worship Jesus. your presence. Lord, we you. Together with the angels, together with all the apostles, we praise you, God. We thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We worship you, O God. Praise you, Praise you in your holy Hallelujah. presence, O oh God. Hallelujah. This privilege, Hallelujah. this privilege to be in your presence, Jesus, for this, for this 
awesome privilege. We thank you, O God. Thank we you praise Jesus. you, Jesus. Praise thank, you, Jesus. Jesus. thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise Hallelujah, you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Praise you. My dear sisters and brothers, you may take a respectable place worshipping and adoring the Lord. This time we are given, we are chosen to be given to be in the presence of our God, to experience His love for us, to be filled with His mercy, to be healed of every pain, to be comforted from every sorrow. This privileged moment to be in the presence of our God. Let's thank Him. And today, we want to pray in a very special way for the church. The church we are committed to, we are united to, the Holy Mother Church. In the Gospel of the Holy Mass today, we have this reading. This reading where Jesus laid the foundations of his church. That's from Mark chapter, chapter 3, verses 13 to 19. Let me read that for you. He went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed the twelve, whom he also called apostles, that they might be with him, that he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Bovenarchus, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The foundations of the church are laid. The church is not primarily a building or an institution. It is the great mission of Jesus continued today. For that continuation, the Lord chose the twelve. And as we contemplate this historical moment in the life of Jesus, in the life of the church, let's open our hearts to pray that God's mercy may flow into the church, into all the leaders of the church, into every one of us. Let us begin this chaplet. Lord Jesus, you died, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O font of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us. I trust, trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of, of heaven, heaven and, and earth. earth. I, I believe, believe in, in Jesus Christ, Christ His only Son, our Lord. Lord. He was, was conceived, conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. In the first decade, we want, we want to meditate on a great mystery. In the church, everyone is chosen to have authority, to be entrusted with a mission. The Lord prayed the whole night before, and he came down from the mountain and called each one by name, each one of the twelve. Those he loved, the gospel tells us. Those who, whom he wanted, he called them. Our call, the call of each one of us is a call originating from the love of the Lord because he has something special for every one of us to do in the church. From the Pope, the Holy Father, the head, the chief shepherd, down to me and to every one of us, we have a mission to fulfill. As we have a mission to fulfill, we are chosen a father, a mother, a teacher, a brother, a sister is chosen to bring the good news. The good news that Jesus preached, the salvation that Jesus effected, that movement to continue. Well, we are chosen. We are precious in the eyes of the Lord. As God said, Isaiah 43, 4, you are precious to me. You are dear to me. I love you. You and I shall understand this. As a member of the church, you and I are special to the Lord. We are not this one of the huge crowd that the church is now. The Lord calls you and me by name as he called the apostles by name. He has called us by name because he desired you who teach catechism, you who sing in, sing in the church, you who bring up your children in faith, every one of us. We have a mission entrusted to us and therefore we are chosen and selected. Let us open our heart for this great love. And we want to also to ask God's pardon because we could not rise up to that great choice of love. We lived in a very indifferent manner as if we are here just to eat and drink and make merry and waste our life. We did waste our life. And therefore, Jesus could not fulfill the plan of salvation for others which he had in mind for which he has sent us. We want to ask pardon for every such moment of indifference and lethargy. And we want to ask for God's mercy for us and for everyone dear and near to us and everyone in the church everyone from the Pope down to every one of us we did not understand the glorious call we have received to be the church to function as the church and to bear witness to the Lord Let's pray this first decade. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrow. Passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. assurance of a loving God. A God who is always attentive to our call. A God who is always alert. A, a God does not sleep. He's always alert to our call. 
counting on every hair that falls from our head, knowing every need of ours, and he's attentive to us. Before you call, I will answer you. Thank you, God, for this great revelation you are giving us. Often we thought we were orphaned. We have no one to turn to. We have no one to care for. We have no one to belong to. Lord, we belong to you. And you belong to us. And you are always attentive to our prayer, waiting to answer us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. For your Hallelujah. grace Hallelujah. of revelation, we thank you. Thank you. you are we praise Savior. you, Jesus. Praise thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank praise you, glory. Glory and honor and thanksgiving to you, O God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Jesus. In the second decade, we want to contemplate on that one word. They came to him. Jesus called each one of them by name. That morning, they were overwhelmed with his love. The special love the Lord was giving them. When Jesus called them by name, they came to him. They cast their lot with him. From then on, they belonged to Jesus. They wanted to belong to Jesus. It was a proclamation. Jesus, we belong to you. We are here ready and willing to carry out the mission you entrusted to us. Lord, we pray for all the leaders in the church and we pray for us. Let us be ready always coming to Jesus, always coming to you, O God, and make it the priority of our life to come to you. We have been wandering often all over Except coming to Jesus. Jesus, we realize we want to follow the footsteps of the apostles. Coming to you when we are sad, when we are sick, when we are disturbed, when we are overwhelmed with struggles. Knowing that before we call you, answer us, we should have come to you. Lord, have mercy. Eternal Father. We offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy, mercy on us, us and on the, the whole world. world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy, mercy on us and on the whole world. world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world.
Lord, where you are, you want us to be. Because in all eternity, we are meant to be with you. Jesus, give us the grace. Give everyone in the church the grace to know our appointment is to remain with you, to belong to you, and to be there with you in prayer. Eternal Father, we offer thee the body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of Jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world Close to your heart. Praise Lord. Jesus, thank you, Lord. 
Judith chapter 4 verse 13 The Lord heard their cry and had regard for their distress The Lord heard their cry your cry The Lord is waiting to hear your cry and have regard for your distress hallelujah 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 praise you jesus thank you mighty god hallelujah thank you praise for your word thank you thank you for your truth hallelujah hallelujah thank you savior lord praise you jesus thank you lord in this fourth decade we contemplate on the mission given to the apostles they came to him and he appointed them to be with him and to be sent out to preach the word and cast out evil powers from the world. Preaching, teaching, sanctifying. A husband must give the word to the wife and sanctify her. And that's what every one of us must be doing, a priest. The primary duty of a priest is to preach the word and work tirelessly for the sanctification of the people entrusted to him. That's what every one of us must be doing. A teacher, a doctor, a politician, every disciple of Jesus has this mission to give the word and to sanctify in prayer. Let us take our mission serious and pray for everyone having this mission in the church. That this mission may be taken serious by all of us. Let's pray for God's mercy. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Lord, let me lift up those who are weak, and may the prayer of my heart always be, make me a servant, make me a servant, make me a servant.
Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Be firm and steadfast. Do not fear, nor be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you where you go. The Lord your God will be with you where you go. Be firm and steadfast. Do not fear, nor dismayed. Lord, thank you for your assurance, for your promise. You will be with us at every moment. Every moment we fulfill our mission, you will be with us. We shall not fear, nor be dismayed. We want to be firm and steadfast in our commitment to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shantiria. And now the fifth decade we meditate on the twelve apostles. The names are given here. And in different parts of the New Testament. The names of the twelve are given together because they are special to the church. They receive authority to lead the church. The twelve apostles, the leaders, pillars of the church. And among them, there was a Simon Peter who denied Jesus. And a Judas who betrayed him. And the other disciples who abandoned him. In a time of a dire need of Jesus when he was arrested. They were not faithful to him. And yet the Lord was faithful to them. The Lord was faithful to them till the end. He went in search of them to Galilee after the resurrection, asking them to wait and pray for the Holy Spirit. And they became the pillars of the church. My brother, my sister, you and I, we have a, a great mission to fulfill. We are important for the Lord. Our names are written on the palm of His hand. And The delight of our life, the privilege of our mission is not on our faithfulness, on His faithfulness. And therefore, in spite of all our weaknesses and unfaithfulness, we want to turn to Him and trust in Him. We also want to pray for the Holy Father, for the bishops, priests and religious and lay leaders, that they may be faithful to the Lord. Always faithful to Him. They may wait upon God for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That they may be strengthened and enlightened in the fulfillment of their mission 
that soul stand up at this moment of intercession at the moment of intercessory prayer we intercede for all, all the leaders of the church the shepherds of the flock and you and i we also are among them because we have a mission to fulfill and let us intercede and pray this decade eternal father we offer thee the body and blood soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have, have mercy, mercy on, on us and on the whole world. world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrow full passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy, holy mighty one holy immortal one have, have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy immortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world Jesus, thank you, Lord. Feel the power. This fight 
this battle against that sickness leave it to the lord this battle to bring peace to your family leave it to the lord this mission you have to teach leave it to the lord every struggle you have every challenge you face leave it to him he will take up your battle he will see you through my brother my sister in your sickness in your struggles your struggle to bring up your children leave it to god it's a moment of surrender the moment the lord takes over a battle the lord the moment takes over a struggle the moment the lord gives us the assurance he will be with us in our struggle he would never leave us alone feel the power of the spirit in your body wherever you are sick that power of the lord flowing into your relationships wherever relationships are strained feel the power the power of the lord in a financial crisis feel it in your relationship of marriage your battle to make yourself understood to the other just leave that battle to the lord the lord will fight for us he will see us through hallelujah hallelujah there is feel your power lord hallelujah your power is sending into us the confidence you are there you are there with us you would never leave us alone praise you jesus thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah praise you jesus thank you lord praise you jesus thank you lord let us receive the blessing the power of the blessing flowing into every one of us to heal us to forgive us and to give us a new courage and confidence in his loving presence with us sacrament divine all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine